फोर्थ वन इंटेग्रल डी एक्स बाई वन प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर एक्स ओके लेट अस डू इट i equals to integral 1 by 1 plus cos square x dx. Now this 1 plus cos square x can be written take cos square x common 1 plus 1 by cos square x. This is cos square x into 1 plus secant square x. So, this is cos square x into secant square x is 1 plus tan square x, 2 plus tan square x. Okay. Now, this i becomes like this integral. This i is equal to integral 1 by cos square x common 2 plus tan square x dx. This 1 by cos square x is secant square x. 1 by 2 plus tan square x into secant square x dx. This 1 by cos square x is secant square x into dx, secant square x dx. Now, put tan x is equal to t if you put tan x is equal to t, dt is equal to secant square x dx. Now, this becomes integral 1 by 2 plus t square dt. Now, this is integral 1 by root 2 square plus t square dt this is 1 by a square plus x square dx, 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c. So, that means 1 by root 2 tan inverse t by root 2. What is t stands for? Tan x, 1 by root 2 tan inverse of tan x by 2 plus constant of integration. Fifth problem, integrate dx by 2 sin square x plus 3 cos square x. Okay. I equals to integral 1 by 2 sin square x plus 3 cos square x dx. This is in the form of 1 by a square cos square x plus b square sin square x. Whenever this kind of problems are there, better divide both numerator and denominator by cos square x. After that, put tan x is equal to t, then proceed for the integral for the integration. Divide both numerator and denominator by cos square x. This is integral 1 by cos square x by 2 sin square x by cos square x plus 3 cos square x by cos square x dx. This, this gets cancelled. We have now integral secant square x by 2 tan square x plus 3 dx. Now, if you say tan x is equal to t, what will be the about uh, secant square x? 
secant square x is the derivative of tan x. So, better put tan x is equal to t in this case. So, now put tan x is equal to t. Now, secant square x dx becomes dt. So, this into this is dt. Now, this can be written 1 by 2t square plus 3 dt. 2 common. Now, 1 by 2 is common taken out. 1 by t square plus 3 by 2 dt. Now, 1 by 2 integral 1 by t square plus root 3 by root 2 whole square dt. How does it appear? It is in the form of integral 1 by a square plus x square dx that is 1 by a tan inverse x by a. So, 1 by 2 1 by a 1 by root 3 by root 2 tan inverse t by root 3 by root 2 here root 2 times root 2 1 by root 2 into root 3 root 2 into root 3 is root 6. So, tan inverse this is root 2 times t by root 3. What is t? t stands for tan x. So, 1 by root 6 tan inverse of root 2 tan x by root 3 plus constant of integration. Sixth problem. Evaluate integral of 1 by 1 plus tan x dx. So, integral 1 by 1 plus tan x or integral 1 by 1 plus cot x or integral a cos x plus b sin x by c cos x plus d sin x dx. Problem should be done in this method itself only. So, now let us say i is equal to integral 1 by 1 plus tan x dx. Let us change tan x in terms of sin x and cos x. So, integral 1 by 1 plus sin x by cos x dx. So, now integral 1 by cos x is the LCM. So, cos x plus sin x dx, this cos x comes up. Now, this is equal to integral cos x by cos x plus sin x dx. Now, let us say numerator cos x is equal to a into derivative of denominator that is cos x plus sin x plus b into numerator that is cos x plus sin x. Now, we have to find out here a and b values a into derivative of sin x is cos x sin cos x is minus sin x plus b of cos x plus sin x equal to cos x. Now, comparing cos x coefficients comparing sin x coefficients comparing cos x coefficients. So, a b a plus b equal to 1 say equation 1 this is. Now, comparing sin x coefficients 
here b minus a or minus a plus b equal to there is no sin x coefficient 0 say 2. Now, solving 1 and 2 to get a and b values solving 1 and 2. Now, a plus b equals to 1 minus a plus b equals to 0 adding these two cancel 2 b is equal to 1. So, b equals to 1 by 2. Now, from 2 b is equal to a. So, therefore, b is also 1 by 2. Now, the integral i can be written like this. So, i is equal to integral a, a means of cos x minus sin x plus of cos x plus sin x by what do you write cos x plus sin x cos x plus sin x dx. Now, we have to here separate the two integrals. So, this is equal to half common integral cos x minus sin x by cos x plus sin x dx of common integral cos x plus sin x by cos x plus sin x dx. So, these two cancel. Now, this is the derivative of this one of log mod cos x plus sin x plus of integral of dx is x plus constant of integration. 